Hi everyone, hope you're doing absolutely awesome. So today I wanted to go over my Gurney shoes, which I really like. First a disclaimer though, I have relatively long and narrow feet and these shoes work really well for me, but if you have wide feet, I'm not sure whether they're gonna work for you or not. I can only speak from my own experience. So both of these shoes are Gurney's Carbon G Chrono Series, which is their second level down from the top. You can think of it as their Altegra level shoe. The shoe on the top here I've been using for four and a half years. The shoe on the bottom here is brand new and is the current generation and I have not used it. I believe there is also another generation between these two generations. So both of these are the Speedplay variant which have the Speedplay 4 bolt hole pattern. The carbon fiber soles of the two generations appear to be absolutely identical. I can't spot any differences. When I was initially setting up the cleats, I kept having issues with the cleat sliding forward in the slots, so I filled in all four slots with epoxy, and that has the added benefit of preventing water ingress and keeping water out of the shoe coming in from the bottom. The placement of the boa dials and also the lacing is essentially identical, and they both use the same style of boa dials, which is twist to tighten one way and then pull to release. There's some minor difference in the venting. The older model has some stainless steel mesh venting also here on the side. Um, on the older model, it appears like these perforations are larger than on the new model, but I've looked at them under light and the holes are actually about the same size on the newer model and there's much more of them. The upper of the old model is constructed of a glossy white plastic. On the newer model, they've moved to a more satin finished plastic. The heel counter on the older model yellowed with age, so that does not look so good. That should not be an issue on the newer model. I weighed the new model at 615 grams for the pair. The insole is just a very basic EVA foam insole, nothing special about it. The heel bumper is replaceable via a single screw, but it's very difficult to find the bumpers online. Except for the yellowing at the heel, my older G Chrono here is wearing very well and hopefully I'll get at least three more years out of it. So this has been a look at the Garnet Carbon G Chrono in the Speedplay 4 bolt hole configuration. Basically, I like this model so much that I bought this one as a spare just in case. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you could subscribe, like, and share, I'd really appreciate it. I'd like to thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye now.